he talks to other girls. All right, if we're being honest, this is how you know. If he lays his phone down, face down on the table. Okay. If you ask for his phone, he doesn't give it to you. If he doesn't want to go out to certain places with you. Like in public, you're saying. Yeah, if he doesn't let you post him. So you're really not talking to other girls. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. If you ask him a question and he doesn't look you in your face. Like if you're like, Cameron, okay, do you talk to other girls? That I don't like about you. That shit, right? It's not going to change. So it's going to always be there. Either I'm going to leave or deal with it. I am not telling you to just accept shit. You have a choice. Like, y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Every woman has a choice. Every man has a choice. If it's something about that person you don't like, you can leave. If it's something about this person you don't like, you can leave. They're going to be who they're going to be, either in your face or out of your face. You're either going to have to be able to accept it, get out your feelings, accept it, or just leave because it's going to always be there. You're not going to be totally 100% happy with no one grown for one-sided dating situations if i call you once or twice or three times you better call me once twice or three times ain't no way i'm blowing up your phone ain't no way i'm initiating all the dates ain't no way i'm thinking about all the ideas ain't no way i'm doing nice things to you and you ain't initiating none of that hell no we're gonna trade off trade on you gonna, you gonna initiate a date i'm gonna initiate a date you gonna initiate a call i'm gonna initiate the call i ain't got energy for people that ain't got energy for me if you ain't got the time are the effort, are the intentions to make sure that our communication is near reciprocal as they can be. I got to move on to somebody that want me. Let me tell you something. I know I'm a mother catch. I'm worth more than a person that halfway picks up the mother phone. You never initiate a call. I got to text you first. You never initiate a date. I got to ask you out first. You reciprocate, but you only reciprocate after I make the first step every single time if you ain't got that i'm thinking about you energy i don't want it if you want to play cat and mouse then i got a grown for one-sided dating situations if i call you once or twice or three times you better call me once twice or three times ain't no way i'm blowing up your phone ain't no way i'm initiating all the dates ain't no way i'm thinking about all the ideas ain't no way i'm doing nice things to you and you ain't initiating none of that Hell no. We're going to trade off, trade on. You're going you gonna to initiate a date? I'm going to initiate a date. You're going to initiate a call? I'm going to initiate the call. I ain't got energy for people that ain't got energy for me. If you ain't got the time or the effort or the intentions to make sure that our communication is near reciprocal as they can be, I got to move on to somebody that want me. Let me tell you something. I know I'm a mother catch. I'm worth more than a person that halfway picks up the mother phone you never initiate a call i gotta text you first you never initiate a date i gotta ask you out first you reciprocate but you only reciprocate after i make the first step every single time if you ain't got that i'm thinking about you energy i don't want it if you want to play cat and mouse then i gotta you ever ask a man how he's doing and he says i'm all right i'm here to tell you that man is not all right that man is battling demons that you cannot even possibly imagine that man is struggling every single day to find a reason to keep going. And the reason we say we're all right is because as a man, nobody really fucking cares what you're going through. So why even bother to say it? But you know what? I feel you, brother. Because uh, I'm all right, too. You stop calling me, I stop expecting you. I text you, you don't text me back, I stop expecting it. I stop expecting it to control my frustration. I can't control your call, but I can control my frustration. After our career so much, we got a PhD and no MAN. Cause he ain't gonna marry the girl that work at Wendy's. I need wine for this part. Okay. <laughs> yes. Bridget looks tight. Reg Bridget looks regarding a booty cheek. Well, I mean, and, and, and I have, if I said the word dog right now, we would all think of three different types of dogs. Oh, I mean. <laughs> see, see, I, see, I was thinking of I was like, ooh, a pit Jack bull. Russell, and then I'm like, nah, somebody on Dykeman. <laughs> like, My first question is what type of man? There are men out there who are emotionally intelligent. And they would not move necessarily in that way if they're secure. Mm. Then there are men who want to be superior, who want to be the alpha, and only yeah. want to have a contingency ar around them. But that might not be the kind of guy I want. I would also like to point out that I have a lot of friends who are married. Six out of the nine of those couples, women have degrees and very successful careers. Yeah, it, comes, it comes down to, to really there being someone for everyone. Exactly. Man, uh -huh. do you like a beta, though? Because I think some women ask for an alpha but actually want a beta and don't want to tell the truth. So, I mean, mm. you, you, know what, you know what I'm talking well, about. Th There's th some women... Be more open-minded. Someone says, yo, let's go get a coffee. Like, dude, 
why why not yeah. like what do you what do you have to lose oh no but i'm not attracted to him a lot of the time we base it on like physical attraction right and physical attraction is not going to lay out the foundation for a solid relationship mm -hmm. i'm not saying chemistry is not important yes it's important and yes like the eye is what attracts yeah. first but like why not